I'm Doug Apple, and my heart is on fire. Luke 24, 32. If you're being bombarded today, you need a bigger shield. If the flaming arrows are pounding your life, you need a bigger shield. If you're feeling vulnerable and weak and you're running low on resistance, you need a bigger shield. What is this shield I'm talking about? I'm talking about the shield of faith. Ephesians 6.16 says the shield of faith will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Do you want to be more protected? Then use the shield of faith. Now, we know how a physical shield works. If you're shooting actual arrows at me, I'm completely defenseless just standing there. Pretty soon, I'm going to be riddled with arrows. But if I have a shield, I can protect myself. The shield comes between me and the arrows. And the bigger the shield, the more protected I am. That's how a physical shield works. But how does the shield of faith work? First of all, we're talking about faith in God, not just some random faith. When we put our faith in God, that's the shield of faith, our faith in God. Now, here's an example of the shield of faith in action. One day you have the temptation to steal. The opportunity's there and you can get away with it. It's a fiery dart of temptation. But instead of letting it hit you, you throw up the shield of faith. You say, I'm putting my faith in God who said, thou shalt not steal. Yes, maybe I need the money, but I'm putting my faith in God that he will provide what I need. Not stealing is a good thing. It's obeying the golden rule. Ephesians 6, 8 says, whatever good I do, I will receive the same back from the Lord. So instead of giving in to this temptation, by faith, I'm trusting in God. He will provide what I need and he will reward my obedience. And the fiery dart of temptation is quenched by the shield of faith. Another example, you're flipping through your social media feed and here comes the fiery dart of the temptation to covet. So you throw up the shield of faith. You say, God, I'm putting my faith in you as my provider. Good shepherd, I'm trusting that you will lead me to the green pastures and the still waters, that you will provide all my needs according to your riches and glory, and I need not covet or be envious or jealous of anyone else because you are my God and my King and you've got me. And the fiery dart of temptation is quenched by the shield of faith. I could go on and on showing how the shield of faith will save us from the flaming arrows of the evil one, but right now I want to talk about how to build a bigger shield of faith. The more we put our faith in God, the bigger the shield will be. The more we act on our faith in God, the bigger the shield will be. One surefire way to build your faith is to spend time with God. Hebrews 12, 2 talks about looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. James 4, 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Hebrews eleven six 6 says that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Matthew 6, 6 says that when we pray, our father will reward us. And now here's a very practical tip for building a bigger shield Have a time and a place. I encourage you, I beg you to nail down a time and a place to spend time with God. If you told me that you exercise and I ask you the time and place where you exercise, you could tell me if you are actually faithfully exercising. The same is true about prayer. Over and over, the Bible talks about being faithful and consistent and persistent and diligent in prayer. That's really hard to do without setting a time and a place to pray. So I beg you, nail down a set time and a specific place to draw near to God in prayer and praise and thanksgiving and intercession and Bible study. When you do this faithfully, your faith will grow. Your shield of faith will be bigger and you'll be far more protected from all those fiery darts of the enemy. So if you're being bombarded today, build a bigger shield. If the flaming arrows are pounding your life, build a bigger shield. If you're feeling vulnerable and weak and you're running low on resistance, 
Build a bigger shield. Your shield of faith. May God bless you today. I'm Doug Apple.